Hi everybody, welcome to Me and My Golf. You've joined us here at West Langs Golf Club in Southport. Absolutely, and we are golfing with world champion boxer, Tony Bellew. Let's take charge of your game. It's the scary out. part, we've had no practice whatsoever with these oh, on. I don't want to hear the excuses we've, we've, we've actually bought these to the range the last three oh, days, listen, so we'll do some practice and we haven't done it yet. If I lose now, this can't. I mean, you can put these on as well if you like, but... No, no, no. <laughs> Mate, I can't play without them on. So we're going to play to three that. holes. Three holes. We've got a couple of fun things along the way. Yeah, on the par three, we're going to get to know Tony thing, a little yeah. bit as well, and maybe give him some help. I think he should maybe give us some help, Pierce, on some uh, some boxing Kevin, skills Kevin, as well. Like I know, I know, like I know, like like I'm sure you have to knock someone out if you. There we go. Oh, yes, please. You practice yeah. on him. <laughs> <laughs> right, play well, boys. Enjoy. Yeah, you too. Isn't it exactly the same. Yeah. It's just friendly, that is. Used it's to just it. friendly. Used to it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> used to it, just trying to get me. No, 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 look, no. Look, look at the size of that fair by now, Tony. It's just no, it might actually your be on you to play the shot. Uh, you, no, used to it. <laughs> I wish we could I tell you what. I'm not having it. Uh, I'm not having it. It's a beautiful strike. Hold yeah, on. Really good. That's the one we're using. We're actually taking 100%. Tony. You've just ripped it down the fairway. <laughs> Us two have missed the fairway. <laughs> now. We're playing. I'm going home, guys. I'll that see you. Playing your ball. <laughs> no, I'm going. I'm, I'm going home. That, that's, that's not normal. <laughs> that's well. That's good. That's the, effect, that's, the, that's the effect we have. That is. Oh my lord! I can't believe that. Great shot. Just, just quickly. Yeah. Obviously, you've you, you've got in the ring with guys who are massive and yeah. they want to beat your face in. And yeah. are you nervous when you play golf? No. Don't no, get. Don't. Don't no, feel nervous. I don't get nervous doing anything anymore. I think. Yeah. Uh, I've recently just gone for me a scam with my wife for our, we're expecting our fourth child. Congrats. So I don't know whether it's uh, congratulations or commiserations, <laughs> but I'm trying to work that one out, yeah? Uh, <laughs> so we went for the scan and, and I, was, I, would do, I was nervous purely based on the fact of I was just hoping there was only going to be one in there. <laughs> because I do not need a set of twins or triplets or something like that. You know, I, what I will say is, is when I go to... I get asked to go to a lot of golf things, and I don't really go through the shame because I, I get, I don't get, I get embarrassed. Okay. So, and, and and the worst thing I could do is someone would be laughing at me. Okay. Because I would definitely respond. And, yeah. <laughs> We're not going to be laughing <laughs> no, at you today. <laughs> no, but it's, uh, I just, I don't. So I always, me old, me dream scenario is always I got to turn up with the first tee. I'm not going to lie, what's just happened then? That's mega. That's perfect. Happens. I cannot believe that has just happened. There you go. That's how you do it. I don't know what people do in other sports, but that's what I done. You know, once I fulfilled my dream and, like I said, being world champion, it was then purely set on financial goals. But as I say, David drew everyone to want to fight him. David's a huge name, former undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, former heavyweight champion of the world. So he's a he's a huge name. You know, spent time in the jungle. He's known to everyone. Yeah. yeah. You know, a celebrity so boxer. He's almost, a proper maybe, yeah. celebrity boxer. Whereas I was like, I'm a fighter. That's all. So once I set out my goals to do it, I got it. Uh, and I one the most important thing was to make that first fight. I had to bend over backwards, but I knew I'd beat him. I just knew. And, and the, the biggest mistake he made of all was he didn't put a rematch clause in because he genuinely thought... He didn't think he was, he was going to lose. His words were to me, his words were in the press conference, you have no say. I will end this fight when I see fit. You have, you literally, there's nothing you can do. I am too powerful, I am too fast. This fight will end when I see fit. It genuinely, I, I didn't wind them up because he, he didn't think I believed it. He thought I was taking this fight because it was money. And it was enormous amounts of money, more money than my whole career had amounted to all in one fight. But he genuinely thought I, I didn't believe I could beat him. When we came close to head to head for the very first time and we were face to face, that's when you know someone's serious. And I looked in his eyes and I said, I'm going to smash the granny out of you. I said, believe you me, I'm going to beat you up and you, you're going you're gonna to lose. And it was only when he looked in my eyes, he was genuinely, in, he was furious that I thought that I could beat him because he knew I meant it. And that's why he ended up swinging a punch at me in the press yeah. conference. Because he, he couldn't believe someone with the audacity, a fat scouser like me, 
could believe that he's going to beat the great David Hay and yeah. that's what broke him mentally. Yeah, yeah. That's what got him. Yeah. I should have put my wedding back another year. What happened is I fought David Hay the second time in the May and my wedding was planned. Obviously, you planned planning a wedding a year before, so I got married on July the 7th last year. And uh, I fought David, I said, in the May, got married in the July, enjoyed my wedding, went on honeymoon, enjoyed my honeymoon. And uh, while I was on my honeymoon, I was in a bar, half tanked up with my wife, uh, champagne was flowing, and then someone comes up and says, Usyk's fighting Gassiev on the telly, put it on, the champ's in here, let him watch it. And my missus just looked at me, and she was waiting for me to say, no, he doesn't want to watch it, I went, stick it on. <laughs> and uh, they stuck it on in this bar, and before you know it, the bar's all crowded around me, and people are around, and I'm like, this is not good, this, I can see this is going. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I hear, Tony Bellew, and I didn't like in the Ukrainian voice. <laughs> and it's, uh, once I heard my name, that was it. I got on the phone. You shouldn't have your phone on you when you've had a bit too much to drink. <laughs> I phoned Eddie in and I said, you've just seen, you spread my name, haven't you? I said, phone, phone Kraus, that's Usyk's manager, whatever his name was, and I said, make the fight. And he said, Tony, you don't need this, you're retired. I've just been at your wedding last week. You don't need it. I said, listen, do as you're told. Phone them back, tell them I'll fight him. And uh, he said, okay. He said, I'll make the phone call, come back to me on the Sunday. I've woke up. Bit of a hangover on the Sunday. What did I do last night? <laughs> yeah. And what did you uh, they said to me, Tone, they said the game to do it. On your terms, everything's in your favour. The money, everything's good. And I was like, yeah, I'm sober now, Ed. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> not sure that was the wisest call. And he just said to me, what do you want to do? And I said, I want to take it. It's all the belts, all the marbles. Let's go for it. He wanted to do a heavyweight. And I, and I, me, I fought David Hay twice heavyweight, and I should have stayed there, right? But I wanted that this fight wasn't my money; it was all about glory. I wanted to do something that no British fight's ever done before: hold all four belts and the ring magazine belt. But I just couldn't do it, mate. As yeah. I said, it's just one of them things. But I have no regrets. I only wish him well. What an amazing fighter! What an amazing event to go out on. So happy days. Good experience. Mate. I, yes. I, I, love, I love watching that fight. It's amazing Good. Fight. They always tell me off if I walk, that, 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 that's your line, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, I mean... So the lads flip on me where like, you're <laughs> on my line, get off my line! <laughs> no. Is that what... <laughs> so that's like a big you, no-no. You do it. your best to avoid it, you would okay. do not. How do you guys judge... How, I mean, how, how is your mind working to, to navigate getting through this part? So it, it really is a getting a good image of what the contours are doing, okay. understanding what the contours are doing, and then it really is down to prior knowledge of how hard yeah, to hit a putt. It's just experience, just hit, 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 hit. It's like kicking a ball, throwing a ball. How do you judge a, a perfectly weighted pass? Yes. You just keep doing it. Face. Just like that. <laughs> Can't believe it. Made that. So what, you've played that, that whole great? Definitely played a bit that whole great? And he's met Tiger Woods and stuff. Yeah, sort, sort of, of sort of being in the vicinity time, yeah. and, and done okay. some stuff with him. But he's yeah, that, that's the one that you want to do. That's the dream one. I that's can imagine one. he's you know, I mean, he's probably the most sought after golfer that's ever lived. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's the super. Is, is he the greatest golfer that's ever lived? You'd, you'd probably say so. Yes. I mean, there's Jack Nicklaus who's got a slightly better uh, majors record, so they're yeah. obviously the four majors in the year. So Nicklaus has but won more. But did Tiger Woods reinvent the game? Yes. Yep. Is that fair to say? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think there's there's every generation there's generally someone who does that and Tiger's done that. Okay. Probably to a level where no one will ever no, match it. Yeah, no one's I don't think anyone's gonna I don't, think, I don't seem like they would. No. I don't do, do definitely we see, not in our what lifetime, do we yeah. see? Do we see anyone coming through that's like the new poster boy or there's always I mean McElroy was the one when he first came out and he still could be you know, he still could make a real good dent into it, okay. but he just hasn't quite kicked on from how he first started yeah, yeah. when he first came on the scene it's an interesting one there's a great thing when he what it was on the PGA tour yeah you came onto the tour you'd have to do your service almost three or four or five years before you got a chance to, of winning one or even winning a tournament okay. and there was an interview when Tiger first came out he was interviewed by, interviewed by another guy who won two US Opens Curtis Strange who was a yeah. very good golfer and and he's saying to Tiger you know what do you think you know oh, I'm, I'm here to win you know he's like 20 years of age I'm here to win and he's like you know some to Curtis Strange, so some people would say that that's quite arrogant, yes. what you're saying as well. No, it's not. What's, what's, um, I, I only want to win. Yeah. And this Curtis Strange then goes, you'll learn 
as in, you know, yeah, we'll see, yeah. we cocky little whatever. Yeah. And then obviously, you he, he goes, he, and he, yeah. he, went, he, goes you he, wins, he won the Masters like month, a couple of months later. Good on him. And it's like, I the, love, I love that. Brilliant, that is. I, I think that's fantastic. And people should never, ever confuse and mix up arrogance with confidence. Of course. And, and you've got to have. I, I'm not a person who says, and you see a lot of sportsmen say this, that you need to have a degree of arrogance. No, you don't. You don't have, need to have a, a bone, an arrogant bow in your body. What you do need to have is confidence and ability. And the confidence and, and the ability there, obviously, but you need to have the belief to believe in yourself to do it. And yeah. by him going there and saying, I'm here to win, that's not arrogance at all. Mm. That's a man telling you. That is self-belief of him yeah. saying, I've worked so hard, and if I don't come here, I've failed. Yes. So I've come here yeah. to win. And you know why I've come here to win? Because I've worked hard. Yeah, yeah. Normally when we do these things, Tony, we yes. have these golfing with and we, the par three is always a little bit of a challenge. You're very welcome to get on it, but we thought we had to have a theme on it, didn't we? Yeah, so, well, the first hole's Texas Scramble. It was a, it was a, a nice team event. Yeah. We're all playing nicely together. Well. I can see what's coming here. <laughs> so we're going to have a little challenge on this one. So we'll all go head to head and see who can get the best score. Best score on the hole. Okay. But we're going to be handicapped. We're going to have, Does so that make sense? We're going to give yes. you two shots. I'm already there, son. Two shots, and we're going to be handicapped. Okay. So we're going to get you're going to give me two shots, two shots, and we're going to wear these, and we're going to we're going to have a go with these. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the, the thing is, the scary out. part we've had no practice whatsoever with these. Oh, on. I don't want to hear the excuses. We've, we've, now. we've actually bought these to the range the last oh, three man, days. Listen, so we'll do some practice. This can't go on. If I lose now, this can't. I mean, you can put these on as well if you like, but no, no, no. <laughs> Mate, I can't play without them off. You, you won't lose, I'm telling you. So a nine nine. Okay. So, so we're, we're probably going to be hitting eight time. Maybe probably, eight. I'd say go on this one. I think seven I think, for you on this one because seven, of the wind. Seven because of the wind. And, and should I hit this hard? Yep. Okay. So I go with so these. So if this goes wrong, boys, first. if I hit this seven and it goes right over the back, <laughs> yeah. I've got someone to blame. I'm looking forward to seeing this, boys. This is good. <laughs> we got eight. Uh, no. Yeah, seven. I got six. Have you? Yeah. Because of the gloves. Yes. No. <laughs> what does it feel like when you swing? Um, strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hannah, move around that way a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not laughing at no one until I've hit the ball. I'll start laughing when I've hit the ball. <laughs> well, um, that's nowhere near the green. It's in the rough. Is that hard? It obviously was. Uh, it was hard, yes. It it all right, this could be interesting. Show us something, Piers. Here we well, go, let's see what we got. Green, mate. That's all we need. Oh, oh is it pretty good? It's a decent strike, it's got a little right. I'm thinking that was going to hook a lot. That's all right, oh. that is piss. Oh, no. That's all right. That's not bad. That's all right. You sure you don't want to go? No, 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 no. <laughs> I swear. How many people come up to you and act, have a picture with gloves on? You wouldn't believe. Sometimes I don't know how many people know I'm going to attend certain places, but I'll go places and I'll see people turn up with a picture of me in gloves and I'll be like, how did you even know I was coming here? Because I, I put very little out on social media where I'm actually going to be. Uh, and it's just some of the strangest things. <laughs> I've been asked to sign some strange parts of, of people as well. Piers will ask you we had, as well. We had a guy have a tattoo of our logo on their arm. Fantastic. And that was only just after we changed the logo. We were going to do a gag and say, let's change it again. We didn't like that. <laughs> All right, you got a bit of a uh, bit of green there. Yes, yeah, yeah, plenty of room inside there. Is the, is the line? Oh, what two shots? You're having a laugh, in you? I'm amazed again. Piers, I think you know what he's doing. He's, 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 he's hustling us. He's, he's, he's hustling us for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, the bunker. No. Oh! Wow. What a shot. <laughs> I thought that was the bunker for a minute. What a shot. Well That's done. A great shot. Pretty good, pretty you can good. Tap line. it in for a four. That's mega. Yeah. Four, four net two. Four. Tony with the, the cameras hole. on. Four. No. 
that is what you call a drive. Jesus. My missus said to me before I came out today, she said, you know, I said to me, there's women that play golf, you know, love. And I weird to me, do you know what them women are? They're the women who don't trust their husbands. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, honest to God, you, you couldn't write it, could you? So when you swing back, stance, setup looks nice. Maybe a little bit too far from on that one, Andy? Yep. So as you swing the club back, what we like to see at this stage here is what we were talking about and what you were talking about, you were aware of it. So the way the club's pointing over here, yeah, yeah. ideally we would like it pointing more up in the sky. Now what that's going to allow you to do, is just going to allow you to be a lot more consistent when it comes to striking off the turf. Because you can see when you're hitting the ball now, yes. that left arm, that lead arm is, is quite bent as you're yes. through. So if we can get this lead, I'm not saying you've got to get this left arm straight in the back swing, mm. but we've definitely got to put some more wrists into it. You know when your friends say you need to keep your left arm straight? Yes. When you're, when you're here, that creates too much tension. We always talk about, well, the left arm needs to be straight, but pretty comfortable. Then the only, re the only way we get that is by having really relaxed hands. So if we soften the wrists and create a good wrist set, well, that left arm's nice and easy. If we create no wrist set, we get this. Okay. Which is get what the you club tend up. to do. And that is a big no-no. It's just hard to be consistent from there. Okay. Whereas if we, uh, we would rather have a shorter swing, but have this good wrist set so your arm stays a little more, not locked out, but a little straighter because then it's easier to get back to a... Leads to more consistent. A consistent, yeah. consistent, a consistent shot, yeah. That's what it's all about. You just take your, take your setup to that Go ball on, Andy, there. Yeah, you get in there with I'm the just, just get your posture. I want to give you some, a real good feel of where you need to be from standing from the ball. So if you tap that one up for us, watch. If you open the hand up. So just relax the pressure in the hand. So it fits now there, look. Can you feel how it, you've still got your two knuckles, but it's really underneath the meat of the hand there. Yes. That makes sense, yeah? Yeah. Now put your right hand on. Good, and just, just give yourself an inch from the ball, from feet. Just move back a touch with the feet, that's it. And just want to let these hands, that's it. Now notice how this is, that even the toe's in the air a little bit, yeah. which is absolutely fine. It doesn't need to be like this. Okay. It doesn't need to be flat. Your hands now are just hanging down underneath your shoulders. Feel how different that is? Yeah. They should be a lot more relaxed at this point. Okay. Compared to what they usually would be, yeah? Yeah. There you go. So those, those, the hands will feel really low compared to normal, but they should feel like your arms are hanging down. Want me to hit this? Let's give it a go. Yeah. Give it a go. Nice. Let's do that again. That was good. I want to video that. That was really good. Okay. The, the, it's the easy thing almost for you. It's like, well, look, you just got to get a grip set up and a little bit of wrist motion and change a lot. Good on those short ones, isn't it? Very good. Beginner's lock. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Really enjoyed Thank that. You. Tony, really appreciate that. That's Always good. A really enjoyed it. And you played some good stuff there as well. I'll try my best. I think we should do that again someday. Yes. <laughs> See if single figures next year, Pierce. Hey, yeah. Oh, Eddie don't, Hearn. Don't get ready with the money. Yes. <laughs> oh, once again. <laughs> once again. <laughs> Brilliant.